Paddy's Day. Happy Paddy's Day. Donate to a great cause. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you very much. You're back. You don't look so happy to see me. I was hoping you'd gone away. I did. But then I missed you so much, Bogman. That's your nickname for me now? Bet you've one for me, too. Oh, I do. I wouldn't repeat it out loud. I hope you're not giving Pete any cheek. I was trying to get a buzz off him. But it's pointless. He's drier than the Sahara. You need to be careful. That mouth of yours will get you into trouble one day. Yeah, well, you're definitely wasting your time trying to put manners on him. Someone should slip a few benzos in his bovril. Do you enjoy rubbing people up the wrong way? If only sat like him. I wouldn't slag you off. You're sound for an hour. And what about Owen? Who? The taxi man that you played down at the rank. Oh, that fella? Ah, he's not so bad either. I was only having a laugh. It might be all one big joke to you, but it's not funny intimidating people. It's bullying, plain and simple. I swear it was just a bit of crack. Come on, don't be like that. Hey. Hey. From your mother. Wish you a happy Paddy's Day. She also said she was here the other night. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant to text you. No, it's fine. It's just money is tight and she offered you the laundry. And when she called over, we just got chatting. That's great. I'm really glad you and your mum were patching things up. She's taking the wrong side in all of this, but she loves you. How about we head into town? We'll do something. Uh, can't. Got an interview later. Another one? Yep. Um, see any dead end job I apply for, the same overqualified. And if it half decent, they want to see a reference from my last employer. So Laura should give you one. She owes you that. Well, I'm not sure she sees it that way. You said it yourself. She only gave you that money because she shafted you out of the job. Well, she believes Chris's version of events, so she's never going to take me back. You lost your reputation and your career. Surely that's worth fighting for. Look, I've already got one battle on my hands. It's enough to be getting on with. Legal costs for this trial are ridiculous. I'll find the money, Dad. Yeah, and hey, that's not for you to be worrying about, OK? This is so unfair. You've been treated terribly. You've got to push back. You don't deserve to lose everything that you work so hard for. Yeah. I know that. So take a stand. Speak to Lee. Every time I try, he makes an excuse and bails. Oh, do you want me to leave so you can keep talking about me behind me back? We're well, worried about you. Well, don't be. Right? I'm doing just fine. Yeah? What about Ma? Have you even thought about her? You know what this will do to her if she finds out. I'm giving out loans, not murdering children. She'll be fine. Our old neighbours were hounded by moneylenders for years. They threw a petrol bomb through their window. Look, I won't be using tactics from the gangster's handbook, all right? You're better than this, son. You've so much potential. Now do something to be proud of. I will, right? But I need money to get me tech projects off the ground, that. Right? This is how I'll fund them. What? By taking advantage of people who are desperate? Yeah, desperate for money, which nobody else will loan them. Oh, don't make out like you're doing them a favour. <sighs> you're crippling them with a debt. And why do you think Jer got the money to buy McCoy's? You're OK to profit from it, but I can't. Double standards. You're both such hypocrites. Who are you calling hypocrites? I can hear you shouting from upstairs. Someone tell me what's going on. Myself and Lee had a falling out. Over what? Lee took advantage of Jer being away and tried to interfere in Hayley's business. Come off it. Yeah, I asked him to butt out and he won't. McCoy's is Hayley's gig. She's in charge. Leave her to it, all right? Look, I saw an opportunity and she shot it down, man. Lee, don't stick your nose in where it's not wanted. You concentrate on your apps. Mind your own business and let Haley run hers. So, we're all good? Hi. I've been meaning to call into you. How's the medical centre doing these days? Fine, thank you. Actually, my dad was just saying that he never got anything in writing from you. About why you let him go? He knows why. Phoebe, I know you love your father. You want to believe he's not capable of doing such terrible things. But I was there, in the hospital. I saw with my own two eyes what he did. My dad hasn't been found guilty of any crime. Is everything all right? <sighs> Apparently, Will wants my reasons for firing him in writing. Is this your dad's idea? No, it was mine. 
Phoebes, what are you doing? I'm trying to help Dad piece his life back together. Can we talk about this? Look, I don't want another argument. Well, I thought we were getting on pretty well. Yeah, but... Dad needs me right now. I'm so sorry about that. Don't apologise. This is Will's doing, not yours. Will is playing the victim, trying to get Phoebe inside, and unfortunately it's working. Right. Yeah. I've made a list of our friends who are trustworthy. Yeah, you mean we have one? Oh, don't be so cynical. You didn't ask Paul, did you? I'd hardly class him as a friend. Mm. St. Patrick missed a snake there. Good, good. No family involvement, right? And I don't want any of my kids to get them into this, right? Oh. Afraid they'd be on the first flight trying to talk you out of yeah, it. Yeah, yes, that's the only reason they'd come, if they thought their inheritance was at risk. I'm sure they'd be proud to see how you're helping out a friend. <laughs> anyway, we'll have two of our best friends there with us. Yeah, but do we have to have witnesses? I mean, are you sure there's no way around this? No. I'll check the system. There is no other way. Yeah. I mean, how do we ask them? I mean, what do we say? I mean, do, oh, how are you? Would you like to come to our marriage ceremony? Yeah? They think we're off a rocker's ass. No, no, no. They'll understand when I explain it all. Leave all that to me. Now. Okay. We... Let's have a look at this list. Look, you were right what you said earlier. You owe Owen an apology. I saw it that Owen may just go. Everything's cool. Anyway, I'm not like that anymore. I'm getting my act together. Is that why you're doing the fundraising? Doing your penance? No, the centre's flooded and we can't get the outreach program running again until the damage is repaired. Well, for the day that's in it, you should be off enjoying yourself. Ah, why are you, Paddy's? Oh, too cool for it now, are you? I bet you loved it, though, when you were a kid. Nah, not really. Why not? I remember scaring the pubs to drag me Owen home. Not that she needed an excuse to go on the sesh. She wouldn't leave you on your own. Most days she did. And how is she doing now? I'm not sure. I haven't heard from her in ages. I bet she thinks about you all the time. My son was lost to me for years. Finding him was the best thing that ever happened to me. Well, I'm glad yours has a happy ending. Right, better get back to it. I'll catch you later. You are something else. Excuse me? Using your teenage daughter because you don't have the guts to confront me to my face. I know what you're up to, trying to extort more money from me. But you can forget it. But I, I honestly don't have a clue what you're talking about. Oh, don't give me that. OK, I, yeah, I'm sure we can clear this up. Phoebe. You got my text? You, never mind that. What did you say to Dolores? I asked her for a letter explaining why you got the sack. And why did you do that? Because she shouldn't have fired you. I, you look at it. I'm really sorry. I didn't know anything about that. Can we put it down to a misunderstanding? Let that be the end of it, then. Yep, absolutely. You should have asked me before you spoke to Dolores. Look, we're in the right here, OK? There's someone you need to talk to. Who? Let's get out of here. I'll explain everything. Yeah. Where are you going? Your text said you needed a hand with the new ordering system. I thought it was just to get you over here. We've had our share of problems as a family. We've always got over them. I don't want you two fall now. Matt, there's no need for this. I want you to sit down and thrash it out. And you're not to leave until it's sorted. <sighs> Look, we both know there's only one way to end this. Give Jer back the money and quit what you're doing. The answer's still no. You want to break our man's heart. Oh, emotional blackmail now. You've already roped down to fight now, battle. This will crush them. They'll be ashamed of what you do. Yeah, you know, it's funny how you turn a blind eye when Jared does it. <sighs> Maybe it's because you were profiting from it. You know, one rule for you and another for the rest of us. I meant what I said. Lee, if you don't back down, I'm bringing Jared into this. <laughs> More empty threats. It's getting pathetic. I asked 
fellow in Mugucky in to meet us here. Why? I want any harm to talk to him. Yeah, but what am I supposed to pay him with? You know, I'm not exactly rolling on it right now. I told him that, OK? He's doing this as a favour. He said that employment law isn't really his field, but he'll have a fair idea what you're up against. Three. Look, we'll know where you stand legally. It doesn't have to go any further than that. It's a conversation, that's all. Well, you complained about being short a few weeks before. <laughs> Never got round to a pension fund. <laughs> Blew it all, travelling the world, having great times with beautiful women. Splurged the lot. No regrets, though. Well, I can give you a cash loan, anything. Yeah. When I end up paying back multiples of what I borrowed. No, 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 I'll, I'll give you a good rate. No, thanks. I don't like being in debt to anyone. Free and easy. That's how I like to keep it. Yeah. Well, uh, if you change your mind, yeah. yeah. Not another one for the chopping block. Yeah, Ray. Oh, he's sound, as they call me, wouldn't tell a soul. Well, not intentionally, but he let it slip, right? and Tommy's out too. He's an expert at keeping secrets. Yeah, and Jane, it'd have a spread through here like wildfire. Uh, how about Huey? One bit to trigger him. You know? His own wedding disaster sent him off the rails. What happens if he goes on the sauce again? When I was with the Choctaw tribe, we took peyote at a wedding ceremony. <laughs> we were out in the desert off our heads for days. Sounds like my worst nightmare. Oh, it was the best party ever. And we're not having any shindig. So don't go getting any big ideas, right? Of course not. Yeah, just two friends, right? Who'd keep it to themselves. Yeah. Who do we know who is discreet? Is there no one at all you can trust? Charlie. Oh. He'd be having a right laugh at us. Yeah. He'd think we were off our lockers. Right. We pick two of these names, otherwise we'd be here till Christmas. Can I get you something? I'm not staying, I'm just meeting someone. You shot me, did you? It was only a matter of time before you turned us. You gave me no choice. Keep going down the path you were on, you'd end up in prison. All right, I had to put an end to us. Well, stop pretending. You don't care about me. This is about you lording it over the rest of us. Hey, I want to see you do well. Shut your face. <laughs> you couldn't handle Jer's business, right? You weren't up to the job, and it sickened you that I was. I was thinking of Ma. It'd kill her if she knew what you were at. She's not your mother. But you've just shown which side of the family your loyalty lies, and it's not on ours. I did it for them. I couldn't bear the look of disappointment on Dad's face every time he looked at you. Wondering how his son turned out this way. You never were one of us. You were always an outsider, Hayley. You're not our sister. You never have been. And you never will be. So if you want to pursue it further, put you in touch with a colleague of mine. Like I said, you have a strong case. All right, well, uh, I'll think about it. Yeah, thanks for this. No problem. If you have any more questions, give me a call. Uh, cheers, Philip. 
told you. Yeah, that doesn't mean I'm going to take it any further. Do you want to tell her the good news, or should I? Phoebe. I just met with Dad's solicitor. Turns out what you did was against the law. You said it was all a misunderstanding. I should have known not to trust you. Phoebe arranged it without my knowing. You're seriously planning on taking an action against me after what you did? Well, I haven't committed any crime, Dolores. I'm not charged of one. Innocent until proven guilty. You understand how that works. I'm not continuing this conversation until I speak to my solicitor. Yeah, you do that. You looking for Liz? Uh, no, Carol asked me to stick my head in while she's away. Everything in order? Of course. Listen, I was chatting to Kilo earlier. That outreach program he's collecting for, their premises got flooded. Oh, badly? Well, they've had to close the place. Is there anything we can do to help? The very man you're looking for? Oh, Pete! Hey. Um, I was just saying, the centre that Kilo was fundraising for got flooded. Is there anything we can do? I've already given him a few quid. Well, I, I was thinking maybe we could pitch in with the clean-up, and you've loads of experience building work. Uh, hold on, you're not roping me into that. Between the shelter and the community centre, I have enough to be doing. I'll see you. <coughs> you really freaked her out, of. <laughs> I'm not sure that was a good idea. Well, you have to stand up for yourself. Look, I'm enough of an outcast around here as it is. If I sue Dolores, it's going to make it a lot worse. It sends out a message that you've been wrong too. Sure, you've made a mistake, but so has Cristiano. Why should you get all the flack? You know, even if I could go back to work, I'm not sure it's the right decision. I know what I'm not wanted. Well, just think about it, yeah? Look, you're not alone, Dad. I'm here. And whatever you decide to do, I'll be with you all the way. Hey, Kilo. Hey. What's up? Just seen him helping himself to the money. Didn't I tell you this was a con job? I'm ringing the guards. There's no need for that. What are we supposed to do? Let him away with it? He's just a kid. Anyway, the guards won't thank you for wasting a time over a few quid. Yeah, well, I'm going to ring the charity. Tell them what he's up to. Hey, you told me you were in here. All right. Just having a breather. Yeah, Sharon told me she left you and Lee at home to sort out your disagreement. Oh, that didn't work. Did something happen? I told Jair everything. Oh. He's really in for it now, isn't he? I had to tell her. He wasn't going to stop. What did she do? I don't know. But whatever she said to him on the phone scared the hell out of him. Well, if that's what it takes to make him see sense, maybe a little bit more to. Well, he doesn't see it that way. He might thank you in time, though. Doubt it. He told me that I'm not his sister and no. I don't belong in the family. Hayley. No, it's fine. No, please, just listen to me just for no. a sec. You don't have to say anything. Right. I'm not one bit happy about it, but that's what I have to do. Okay, I'll have to think it over. Thanks for getting back to me, though. Everything okay? Oh, problem at work. I'm not sure what to do. I'll trade you for daughter troubles. No, thanks. I thought I was getting somewhere with Phoebe, but I'm back to where we started. She's still a kid. She shouldn't be taking on Will's problems. It sounds like she's a lot on. Yeah. She's worried sick about Will. She's stressed out that he can't find a job and has no money and all the adult problems that she shouldn't be taking on. I hate seeing her like this. Once Will's situation is more stable, she'll calm down. Yeah, I hope so. She can't go on like this for much longer. Hey, Nora. Don't be giving that killer fella any more of your money. Why not? Because the charity is a hoax. I saw him taking the money for himself. You don't know that for sure, Pete. He was caught red-handed. 
Does the charity even exist? Yeah, I rang them. There was no answer, so call them again tomorrow. So all that talk about getting his act together, like, was that even real? Do I happen to get a few quid? Maybe Baddy needs the money. Are you making excuses for him now? No, I just wouldn't be so quick to judge. Like Nora said, he's had it rough. Well, he could have been lying. But I usually know when someone is trying to get one over on me. Well, he was good. I'll give him that. You might want to hear his side of things before you go throwing accusations around. Oh, come on, Owen. I know what I saw. I don't know why you're leading to his defence after what he did to you. He's a teenager with a lot of problems. I'm a hard place, man. You can be a self-righteous bore sometimes, you know that? Look. What's wrong with you? What you said to your sister is unforgivable. I meant every word. Are you trying to tear this family apart? You think she gives a damn about us? She grasped me to chair, right? Stabbed me in the back. You were out of control. I was on the up. And it sickened her to see me do well. No, you were turning into someone I don't recognise. It disgusts me to see what you've become. Well, I'm sorry I'm such a disappointment to you, Dad. D like, did you ever stop to think how that would make Haley feel? Do you even care? <laughs> Taking her side. No surprises there. No, Lee, no. This is all about you. And you'd want to take a long, hard look at yourself, son. Because whoever this is, I don't like him. And right now, I'm ashamed to call you my son. Hey, uh, can I get you a drink? No, uh, this won't take long. I spoke with my solicitor. The advice I was given is to reinstate your position if you choose to come back. What, no apology? He's a great nurse and he loves his work. But since you fired him, he's had to do menial jobs for terrible pay. Phoebes, it's okay. No, it's not. She should be compensating you for your lack of earnings. The very least she could do is say sorry. Look, what's done is done. There's no hard feelings and uh, I appreciate the offer. Is that it? Well, I don't know what else you expect me to say. If you're going to accept it or not. Right, well, I'm going to need some time to think about that. But look, as soon as I made my decision, I'll let you know. Hey, what's going on? Nothing. You never made it to Kayla tonight. I waited for you. I'm sorry. I completely forgot. It's been a rough day. Mm. Wanna join us for a drink? I can't, no. I have to go. Look, wh what is it? Did Willa say something? No. Uh... Look, it's probably nothing. I'll talk to you tomorrow, OK? OK. You should head. Sharon. I asked you if you knew. I didn't want you freaking out. Our son's breaking the law. I think somebody needs to. Ma, you said you weren't going to lose her. What the hell? I, mean, I just reported what I saw. It's no wonder these kids give up. With pompous prats like you ready to knock them every step of the way. At least I'm not some sallow loser who has to beg all his kids in order to buy a house. How dare you? You're a joke, do you know that? You're just a pathetic little joke. Don't talk to me, Louisa! Please, Thomas! Thomas! 